the backyard to put new strings in my old guitar. The E was flat, the A it stayed sharp. I had no idea at all how happy it would make small. And how drunk you and I'd get before dark. Good morning, folks. It's the morning of our ultrasound. I feel like I honestly just need closure from the last appointment because at that point I was six weeks, five days, and they couldn't see a heartbeat. We couldn't hear a heartbeat. We just, it would be nice to just get an accurate measurement of the baby, to see the heartbeat, to hear the heartbeat, to know that everything is okay, and to find out if we're having one or two babies. The first time I went to my appointment, the midwife wasn't sure whether she saw one or two. Only technicians, only actual ultrasound technicians should be able to do ultrasounds but at some midwife offices they allow midwives to also do them as well now this midwife was new to the practice she came from I think like Pittsburgh or something like that whoa my pants are going all the way down my body okay thank you two three monster trucks in mommy's pants we officially know the weight that pulls mommy's pants down. So she came from out of state and came to this practice and I have a feeling that they did not do ultrasound. That along with the fact that normally they have you go in closer to eight weeks but I went in six weeks, five days because I was having such horrible all day sickness. They wanted to get me in and make sure they can get me on diclegis before I started to get dehydrated and have to go to the hospital during like this crazy COVID stuff. So I wasn't able to go get another ultrasound at another place because it wasn't vital enough for me to risk my health and my baby's health and my family's health going to the hospital, which is the only other place that I can go to get an ultrasound. So they just said, you know what? Come back at 10 weeks, four days, which is today, when you're going to do genetic testing, the blood test, and we can just do another ultrasound there and we will see if there's one baby or two babies. We will do everything over again when you're a little bit further along. And I was like, fine. That's my little tidbit update. We don't know if it's one baby or two babies. We're going to find out today. Personally, what do I think? I think when I was going through the severe nausea that I've never experienced before with Cooper or with Willa, both genders, um, I was almost certain that something different was going on with this pregnancy. And when she said two, I was like, that makes sense. It makes sense that I'd be having twins. A lot of, a lot of things. I had very intense ovulation pain during this cycle, which I almost never have. Um, and then I also, was getting tests super super early very strong lines all of these things are indicators of pregnancy uh could be indicators of a multiple pregnancy but also could just be pregnancy like that's the thing about pregnancy is you really just never know everyone has so many different experiences some people have horrible nausea with um, a singleton pregnancy and then have a multiple pregnancy and don't have nausea at all so it's really just hard to to know and personally like what does my gut say I find it so crazy to think that I could have two babies in me right now that my mind just naturally goes towards a singleton pregnancy at the end of the day Dan and I don't care we want a healthy baby that's the goal a healthy babies in general is what our goal is we don't care how God chooses to give them to us if they he wants to give them to us in one pregnancy, if he wants to give them in multiple pregnancies, healthy babies is our goal. If it's twins, that's great. I mean, twins to me is a little scary. The pregnancy itself, I've never had a C-section before. I really wouldn't want to have a C-section. I would be uh, concerned about how my body would handle twins, just me being so short. So there's a lot of different things that like kind of concern me about a twin pregnancy. Um, I think a lot, this whole time people thought that I was like hoping, wishing, wanting, praying for twins and that really just wasn't the case. It's just how I felt so differently in this pregnancy after having two pretty same pregnancies. And then the midwife almost confirming that just obviously I have the right to suspect a multiples pregnancy. Mommy's making some oatmeal. I'm making myself some oatmeal. Oatmeal has definitely helped me with all day nausea. Getting oatmeal in me in the morning has been like the best. Hi. Oh, it's still going. <laughs> She's so funny. Do you look at the clothes? Daddy has to take his clothes off and go to the shower. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're just gonna film? 
<laughs> what? You getting undressed? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> There's too much love in this room. Love you too. Love you guys so much. I love you so much it hurts. Who's excited? I'm excited. I'm dressed like it's April 20th, but the weather is not like it's April 20th, folks. Is that okay? My two. These have a little bit of height in them, these shoes. Just nice. Um, the weather is not cooperating. Let's see what the temperature is. You make me go through the menu. 46 degrees. I have on flip flops. We're just gonna we're just gonna live that life right now. I don't care. I'm done. I'm over it. Um, okay, so we are on our way to my ultrasound. It's at 10:20. Have to plug in my GPS so that I can get it on my little nifty screen right here. Can listen to some music on the way. Oh, rainy. Who's excited to go see baby bear or baby bears? We don't know yet. Got my iced coffee, have my mask, I have my hand sanitizer. Good to go. to tell you how much of a wonderful experience that was and a huge change from last time. Okay, so for starters, we got to see baby, not babies. Although at one point there, I was like, whoa, 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 what's that? <laughs> it looked like she had like swapped and rotated and there was two. Um, but she did go into it telling me that she is brand new to the practice and she's not a sonographer and it was a, it's the machine is a little tricky for her which is understandable and that's fine this time around i really appreciate how honest she was about her knowledge or lack thereof i don't mind when someone is honest about things with me because that i don't know it just it just makes me feel better when people are honest with me i don't think that it's them being negligent or anything i think that when you pretend that you know things that's negligence but anyway i'm not going to go into that what i want to say is we have a healthy baby i saw the heartbeat um she didn't know how to make the heartbeat go on like she didn't know how to um 
see that like hear the heartbeat but she was able to find it i saw it it was beautiful so amazing you guys saw it too and i just thought it was funny because like she really didn't check whether there was one or two i'm just gonna make a decision and i'm gonna say that there's one there's one baby could we go to our anatomy scan where somebody is actually a professional, you know, ultrasound technician and they're like, whoa, there's two? Yeah, that could totally happen. But chances of that happening, I feel like if there was two, she would have, she was going all over my belly and all different, you know, viewpoints and stuff. And I was watching too, and you guys are watching. And I just think realistically, to think still that there's two babies is just kind of silly. So we are going to say that there is one baby bear. Um, healthy baby bear, growing baby bear, super cute looking, little nugget alien, I love it. And yeah, I got my blood work done. She said that it will take about seven days. She asked if we wanted to find out the gender. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just like so relieved for the visit itself. Oh my goodness. She was amazing, guys. She was she listened it was such a midwife quality care she listened to me she she didn't rush the ultrasound she let me see the baby she just let me like live in that moment and just enjoy that moment and she was she would want to talk to me about nutrition and she was like i don't want to talk to you about nutrition because if this is a touchy subject for you i just want you to have a healthy happy pregnancy and if you have any concerns about your health or your weight or weight gain please know that you can ask me and we can talk about it at any time but i don't want it to be stressful for you and i was just like where have you been all my life like my midwife's last pregnancy with Willow were at Angels and like rarely ever talked to me about my weight. But the first pregnancy I had with Cooper, literally the doctor would come in and just be like, uh, you need to control your weight. Wouldn't even be like, hey, how are you? Or like, how are you doing? Or how are you feeling? It would just be like a conversation about my weight every single time I went into the doctor. So it was just like so stressful for me. Um, but yeah, she gave me like all of my blood work from last time, which was really cool. Everything came back like good and negative and where it should be everything went really well i was so happy i'm so happy and i feel so relieved now i just can like actually know that there's like a growing healthy baby in my belly and i don't have to like stress anymore hi guys so i've been home for a little while now and talked it over with dan talked it over with my friends and I don't know it's just like I know how I know how hard it is to have one baby I couldn't imagine being pregnant with twins how much that would just be that would just be so much for my little body like I'm five foot two on a good day and then on top of that I've had two vaginal births does that mean that I'm destined to have a c-section um, that would be really scary for me you know the amount of complications during like everything that's going on right now i would have to be going to the hospital more often for like it would just be more frequent doctor visits and that's really scary right now especially where we live we're just trying to stay away from hospitals having said all of that i just feel so different with this baby i just feel so different and I can't put my finger on it. And I honestly, it might just be the baby, you know? I, having three babies, really four pregnancies in four years might just have played a toll on my body, you know? And I very well could just have my third baby be a wild card and, you know, just everything is different. I still feel kind of strange in my gut, like something's, something's, I don't know. It's I don't know. I just I hope that the different that I'm feeling is not that there's anything wrong. Did the first midwife see my bladder, my full bladder and think that that was another baby and that's why she said twins? I don't know. I'm just at the point where like my mind is ready to just let go of this for my peace of mind. I just want to celebrate what I know and I want to celebrate this baby and I don't want to go about this pregnancy wondering about more because I feel I would feel horrible doing that to Cooper or Willa and I feel as if this baby is already here here with us. It's my baby. So I'm never gonna like wish more from a child. They're perfect exactly the way they are. So I just feel like it's time to just let this go and just carry on. Just wanna celebrate the baby I know that I am having. You know, I just wanna celebrate him or her. That is all. I felt obligated to just 
come back here one more time and sit down and really explain to you more after I've had time to kind of process it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and for everyone who has been so supportive of my family, seriously. Like, just not even pregnancy, not even last pregnancies, just us in general as a family for being friends from afar. Thank you so much for just being nice people out there. It's, it's really just so comforting to know that there's nice people out in the world who are just looking out for you, friends from afar. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay.